Alrighty fellas, today we're doing a cool, cool move called the Around the Twirled. Here it is. That's the move, and here is a slow-mo. This is an advanced tutorial. There's going to be lots of tricks uh, that I have already covered, so those are going to be in the description. I'm going to go pretty fast, but if you get stuck, check the description. There'll be stuff to help you there. All right, so to get right into it, what you're going to do is you're going to start by grabbing the safe handle, and you're going to do a double rollout, just like that. And then you're going to take your middle finger, and you're going to place it over the back of the safe handle. So once again, you're going to grab the safe handle, do a double rollout, and you're going to put your middle finger over the back of the safe handle. At this point, what you're going to do is you're going to do the first half of the full twirl. So you're going to flip the knife upside down, insert your uh, ring finger, and flip the knife over your middle finger, just like this. So once again, safe handle, double roll out, middle finger behind, first half of the full twirl, just like that. From this position, your ring finger is going to be right here, and you're going to be set up to do to push the knife, the bite handle, over your ring finger, just like that. So once again, double roll out, first half of the full twirl, forward over your ring finger. Then you're going to take your, you're going to remove your middle finger, and you're going to do a rotation around your ring finger, and you're going to catch on your pinky, right? So what that kind of looks like is not throwing your knife way over there. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. Just like that. You're going to catch on your pinky. So at this point. Um, this is very similar to the twirl ladder. This is where it gets different. So from here, this position here, we got the knife over your ring finger, and you got your pinky supporting it here. You're going to push with your pinky, and you're going to flip the knife upside down, just like that. Now, if you watch the tutorial for the twirl ladder, you would have caught the knife with your whatever that finger is, middle finger, right here. Instead, you're going to swing a little harder and you're going to do a little bit of a, a circular motion to generate a little bit of momentum and you're going to catch the bite handle in this position here so instead of catching the safe handle you're going to catch the bite handle up like this so you kind of got this three prong where my middle finger's here my ring finger's there and my pinky is getting pinched in between so what you can do is if you're having trouble with this or whatever you can just start in this position and you can flip the knife up and you can catch it like that you can just do that over and over and over again until you can do that consistently it becomes easier with momentum. It's kind of hard to do it from the stationary position. So if you can do it from the stationary position, uh, you're going to be golden. So <clears throat> to recap, double roll out, middle finger behind, first half of the full twirl, over your ring finger. From here, you're going to push with your pinky, and you're going to flip the knife upside down, and you're going to catch the bite handle with your middle finger. Now, from here, what you're going to do this is very similar to the around the world, except it's a little bit harder because you're using your bottom three fingers. So what you're going to do is when you got this knife pinched here, you, you kind of got some pressure built up on your pinky finger. And so what happens is, is you're going to bend your ring finger like this, and the pressure is going to release. The safe handle is going to swing. And at the same time, that release and pressure is going to cause your ring finger to hit the bite handle. So I'll show you what that looks like, just like that. <clears throat> so from here, you're going to squeeze a little bit, and you're going to bend your ring finger, and the safe handle is going to slip past, and it's, your ring finger is going to catch on the bite handle, just like that. So once again, right, you do the full start of the move, flip the knife upside down, you're going to release your ring finger and catch the bite handle. Now, the handle is going to be swinging here, and you are already, with this momentum that you've generated from this hit, and with your middle finger, you can start twisting the bite handle just like that. So the knife's already swinging, and you're twisting to generate a little bit more momentum. What will happen is, if you do it right, the knife will probably get to right about here. 
And at this point, what you're going to do is you're going to take your middle finger and you're going to duck under the blade, right? So what happens is this swing is happening and you do a little bit of a downwards and outwards motion. And what's going to happen, right, is if I can get some good angles here, you're going to go down and around and you're going to catch with your thumb just like that. And so this is also something you can just practice um, right from a stationary position. So if you get back to the start of the move, right, or to the part where you're, you're here, right, you flip the knife upside down, you catch, you can start right from this position, and you can practice, even right from here, this flip around and catch with the thumb. Of course, you have to note that the bite handle is coming at your fingers. So you can even practice this move um, with the safe handle. So if you start in this position here with your ring finger and your middle finger just like this, you can practice flipping the knife over and catching it with your thumb without the blade touching you in a safe way. Of course, it's not always going to be like that, right? So once again, I'll just go over everything right from the start, right? Double roll out, first half of the full twirl over the ring finger, flip the knife upside down, you're going to catch the bite handle, your ring finger is going to slip, the knife is going to spin around, you're going to duck under it, and you're going to catch with your thumb. And right from here, of course, you should know what's coming now. Your thumb is right on the bite handle there, and you saw you're loaded up to do a Y2K, just like that. And that's the end of the move. So the hard part, of course, is making this move into a one fluid motion and not pausing there like I did and not throwing the knife on the floor. So when you get good, right, what happens is you can kind of get it to be one fluid motion and that will just come with practice. One thing I would recommend is learning the twirl ladder before this move. Um, the reason for that is it'll just make, so the twirl ladder is this move here where you pinch here and then you go into more twirling. But the point is, learn the twirl ladder first, it will help you. Um, yeah, and then you'll be able to get this move very fluid. So that was a twirl ladder. Uh, let me do the, this one again. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, that's the whole move. Hope you guys like this one. Thanks for watching. Peace.